Do you have any idea about the Earth system? Can you still recall the subsystems biological components of the Earth? That's great! Now, let us discuss the systems of, of Earth. Logical processes all made possible because of the composition and nature of its subsystems. And here are the subsystems biological components of the Earth. The first is the geosphere, portion of the Earth system that includes the Earth's interior, rock, and minerals landforms and the processes that shape the Earth's surface, it makes up the solid portion of the Earth's layer, its structure and land. The crust. It has thin layer measuring 40 km deep composed of solid rocks and minerals. It is divided into two parts, the oceanic and continental crust. Wow! The next is the mantle. It represents about 84% of the total weight and mass of our planet. It can be found between the crust and the core. It is divided into upper and lower mantle. And the core. It has a huge ball of liquid and solid iron and it protects us from dangerous radiation of space. It is divided into two parts, the inner and outer core. Next is the hydrosphere. It is combined mass of water found on, under, and above the surface of a planet, minor planet or a satellite. Water covers 70% of the entire surface of Earth and most of it is ocean and water. The water cycle. Light and heat causes water to evaporate from oceans, lakes, rivers, and other sources of surface water. Water vapor condenses into millions of tiny droplets that form clouds. Clouds water as rain or snow, which is called precipitation. And we also have the atmosphere. Atmosphere is mostly composed of nitrogen, 78%, oxygen, 21%, and 1% of carbon dioxide and other gases. It is a blanket of gas that surrounds our planet up to the edge of space. Here are the layers of the atmosphere. Number one, the troposphere. It extends 6 to 20 km high, considered the densest among other parts of the atmosphere. All weather types are in this region. Most jets and planes will fly slightly above this region to avoid the turbulence in weather. Next is the stratosphere. It extends up to 50 km high in this region where we can find the ozone layer which absorbs and scatters the solar ultraviolet radiation. 
Next is the Mesosphere. It extends 8 km high. Meteors usually burn up in this region as they approach our planet. And we have the Thermosphere. Extends up to 600 km above the Mesosphere. Aurora and satellites are located here. And lastly, the Exosphere. A thin atmosphere-like volume surrounding a planet or natural satellites where molecules are gravitationally bound to that body. And last, we have the Biosphere. Biosphere is termed as the zone of life. It is the part where life exists. Life on Earth depends on the sun. Energy provided as sunlight is captured by plants, some bacteria, and proteins in the marvelous phenomenon of photosynthesis. Wow! Earth system science is the application of system science to the Earth. In particular, it considers interactions and feedbacks through material and energy flux between the Earth's subsystems. And that's our science lesson for today. Please like and subscribe for more science lessons. Bye!